hi all so I'm back with a very quick little video over um, this little thing like my previous action cam gone and got the new Acme VR07 um, now literally this arrived five minutes ago straight straight away just emptied the entire boxing out um, have a look what's in it now I'm not going to go into too much detail over all the bits that will come with it because obviously uh, it's pretty much identical to what came in the uh, VR06 box so you can go and have a look at the uh, the older video if you'd like to see in detail what all these little bits and pieces are um, to give you an idea that's what came with the VR07 and yeah that's what came with the VR06 they basically the same as a couple of exceptions though um, the VR06 came with two batteries and an additional external charger this has only come with one battery. Um, there's no external charger at all. However, this new camera has a remote control. So you would fasten that with a strap through to your, your wrist or handlebars or whatever. Um, and then you can control the camera by just pushing the buttons. The other thing that I noticed, which is slightly different, is these actual bottom clamps. Um, they've put this bit of, I suppose it's like jelly-like rubber in there. In It doesn't stop them closing or crimping. I don't know if you can see that. You can still crush it down. It's just it's a little bit firmer. It's a little bit stiffer, which I believe is probably intended to stop this from popping out of these things. Because sometimes when they wear in a little bit, these little tabs tend to smooth off a little bit and... Uh, don't grip quite as well into there so it looks like by adding that bit of rubber the intention is that it's going to force these bits out a little bit um, so that's the kind of what's in the box type thing as I say pretty much exactly the same even down to these toe loops and everything um, but I mentioned batteries now this is the battery that came with the new one have a look at it 3.7 volts 900 milliamp hours okay and it's a battery. This is the battery that came with the VR06. Um, there you go, focus. You can see it's got a slight different model number, it's PG1050 as opposed to um, PG900 on that one. So, quick look on the back. The old battery from the old one is actually um, a little bit more powerful. It's 1050 milliamp hours, so um the old batteries will last longer now from experience the old batteries working in 1080p last about 40 minutes at most um so obviously i've got two for the old camera but only one for the new camera and it's smaller so i'm not holding my breath on that however we do look to be identical yeah camera focus um we do look to be identical sizes so I'm hoping that we're kind of interchangeable. Um, I'll find out tomorrow because I'm going to take this with me tomorrow to Airsoft and give it a try. See what happens um, and see if I can swip them in. Now, the final thing about this camera is although it's the, mo the newer model, it's only 1080p. The other one attempted or claimed to do 4K. Yeah, as everyone knows, you know, I think I demonstrated a little bit as well. Uh, nothing like 1080p, but this new, uh, 4K even, but this new one is purely 1080 and we don't even attempt to advertise it as anything else. It's got the same options on the side, the uh, micro HDMI, micro SD, uh, micro USB ports on it, mode button on the front, and two big following buttons on the side. With the, uh, I don't know if you can just see those little holes there, that's the mic, uh, battery panel on the bottom and then obviously your go button and your light on top just quickly compare that to the old one that's a VR06 so the primary difference you're looking at is there's now an on light on the top rather than the two on the front um, the lenses seem to be the same size, same kind of depth, positioned in the same location, so the same cases will work for both. Um, they are, interestingly, 
different dimensions. Um, how is the best way to show this? Right, there you go. See, that's the 06 on the right, that's the 07 on the left. So the new one's a little bit thicker. Um, now what that means for your casings is that that is a little bit of a different size to the old one. So you can't just swap the casings around if you want to put them on the mounts. You actually have to swap the whole thing, you can't just put the new one in the old case. Um, apart from that though, they are the same dimensions in every other angle. Um, so it is just the just the thickness that's uh, that's the issue. Don't know if you can see that there. They are basically basically the same. You know, it's kind of difficult. I'm doing it with one hand, but so yeah. So that's it. I mean, I'm not. It's not powered up yet. I've not had a chance to charge the battery, so I, I can't really go through user interface yet. I'll do that in another video later. And I want to get some comparison footage. That one in 1080p, and that one running in 1080p. And try and compare it. Um, apart from that, the entire thing costs 40 quid from Amazon. It's cheap and cheerful. You get six of these for the price of one GoPro. Um, I don't expect it to be brilliant, but for the kind of stuff I use it for, it'll be absolutely fine, I hope. Alright, well, um, I'll see you all later.